Let's do Addicted to Fresno very quickly, directed by Jamie Babbitt, um, Natasha Leon, uh, Judy Greer, Aubrey Plaza, terrific uh, cast. You look at it think, wow, lots of talent on screen. And then you start watching the film think, why is it annoying me so much? So the story is two codependent sisters, one of whom uh, is a an inverted commas recovering sex addict, the other of whom is trying to look after her and is almost on the verge of having a relationship with Aubrey Plaza's uh, fitness instructor, but keeps being dragged away because her sister keeps getting into terrible trouble not least because her sister ends up very very so this is a comedy and he ends up very quickly oh. with a dead body of which they have to dispose by going to the local pet cemetery here's a clip hey hey these are old friends of mine shannon and martha is this the scooter girl how did you know that you told me about it on one of our first dates wow you really listen to me i listen to you when you talk baby but you look the other way it's incredible yeah um what's in the bin really hope it's a dead dog because we could use the cash Sensitivity, honey, please. I'm sorry. We really hope it's your dead Shit. dog, please. That's Boris. He just passed away, so we we're hoping to get him cremated. Gerald is saying we could have the friends and family discount. I'm sorry. D you know, <laughs> this is the reason why we're stuck here. This, this, this <laughs> friends and family thing. Not everyone is your family, and almost no one is your friend. Can we walk around the cemetery and do this? It's just in front we of also we uh I, we need to get the bin cremated too. There are no discounts, and uh, the bin is extra. So it was one of those films in which everything about it said, hey, independent, edgy, quirky, yeah, saying things that other people wouldn't say, doing things that other films wouldn't do, yeah, making jokes that other films wouldn't do because, hey, they're edgy and they're all about stuff, and I just sat there thinking... Mm, it's a very, very thin line, as we've said before, between quirky and irksome, and this gets steps over that line in about five seconds. And I, it was funny because you know when you want to like a film because you think there's there are people involved in this thing, like you know I think you're good and they're talented, but why is it that this is just annoying me? And the thing that it reminded me of was that film Accidental Love, which was actually the uh, a recut version of the David O. Russell movie. Um, he started out making it, it was called Nailed originally. David O. Russell started out making it and then he stopped making it and then somebody else finished it years later. But at least David O. Russell had the good grace to totally disown that. This is totally, this is totally the same, but as far as I understand, has not yet been disowned.